Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Today I am over at what we call Docks. It's uh, one of our farms that we uh, haven't had any animals on here since um, November. Been yeah, it's been deer season. Yeah, we took them off here actually right before deer season. So about the first of November, and um, we just what we call creamed it. We just took the cattle across the tips and just took about one bite and leave and uh, we haven't had any rain um, we're in two year drought and it's looking like well you don't know we could get a ton of rain in the next month but we're uh february february 28th today and uh, we're looking at march here and we typically consider march is called mud month in missouri and uh, <clears throat> I hope we have some mud. <laughs> I would take it. Boy, is it dry. Um, anyway, uh, I was going to show you. This is the stockpile that we grew. And this is our turnaround area. This is where the, the trailer comes in. We've got it on. We're actually uh, taking the, the yearlings off today and giving them their black lake shots and such. I thought I heard something in that tree. <laughs> no. It sounded like that trailer moved. It's the wind. The darn wind out here is just brutal. But anyway, we're ready. We're ready for the yearlings. We're going to start grazing them here. We're going to leave them in the weaning pen for a couple of days. And let them get over their bawling. And we, we did something different this year. Um, we brought over three cows... And uh, these are cows that calved uh, late last summer. And so one of them had a bull calf on it. And I think the other two had heifer calves. And they were actually born, you know, pretty late. Like, I don't know, July, August, something like that. And uh, so we brought, well, then we brought a couple heifers that were uh, coming two-year-olds. And... Uh, so these weanlings that are nine to ten months old, they got some older animals with them. And I've read, I've never done it before, but just bringing a couple of cows with your yearlings and keeping them in there with them, it's like having a babysitter. Okay, it does. It's kind of a soothing action, and there's an older animal with them, and it just kind of keeps them calm down. So we we try it. We're going to try it. I'm always always looking to try something new see if it works or not and um folks there's 200 there's over 200 acres of stock pot here in front of us and we're at march might as well say it's Mar it's a uh, february 28th and uh yeah might as well say it's march this is a leap year we got one more day in, in february i guess but uh we have not fed any of the hay here. None. We've got it stacked over there on, on post. And Isaac moved out eight bales and set them out here where we can get to them with the bale and roar. And if we get some snow, we'll use them. And if we don't, we'll put them back over there. But I don't think we're going to need them. Um, you know, we could get a 24 inch snow. I mean, this is Missouri. We were 82 degrees yesterday. And today it's 10 degrees out here. Just brutal. My fingers are freezing off shooting this video. And it's, it's, it's miserable. The wind's blowing and it's cold. But that's just Missouri. Uh, I heard yesterday in Michigan, of all things, they had a 78 degrees in Michigan. I don't think that had ever, they'd ever seen that before. But now it's back normal. It's cold. It's February, Missouri. Normally we can expect to have some cold weather. But I guess where I'm going with this video is if you can get to this point where you can have grass like this and you might as well say the first of March and we do get into uh, mud and it just starts <clears throat> and it does start raining. I don't like feeding hay and rain because all they do is stomp it in the mud. They'll stomp it in the ground. You don't get hardly any consumption. But if you've got winter stockpile like what we have out here by these 10 bins and it goes a mile and a half behind us here just exactly what you're looking at right there. Um, it makes a big difference. Um, we had a farm tour 
I had one. A really nice family came up here from Cape Girardeau and wife, husband, and kids. And they spent the night at our Airbnb and then they hired me to do a half day with them on our farm. I took them around, showed them the various farms and what we're doing, how we're doing it. And I, one of the things I wanted to show them was the soil, the soil biology. It all starts in the soil. And so I pulled back the, the stockpile where the cattle hadn't been yet. And the ground was just solid, just solid earthworm castings. And, you know, when you can get up to 25 worms per square foot, that's equal to about 20 tons of earthworm castings per acre per year. And so while we're putting all this, you know, expensive uh, amendments on our properties, we've got earthworms. It doesn't make any sense. And so with good grazing management and not taking your pastures off too short, keeping a good cover on them like what we have out here. I'm gonna walk over there in a minute. I'm gonna pull that grass back. It's gonna get windy. And, cause I'm right here behind this trailer. It's blocking the wind right now, but it's gonna get windy when I get out there in that grass. I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna go over there and grab them stop pot. I'm gonna pull it back and I'm gonna, sh well, I can 99.9% .9 guarantee you we're gonna see some earthworm castings. And it may be solid. The ground may be just solid. Folks, you've got to develop your litter bank. If you don't have a litter bank out here on your property, you're never going to grow any grass. And those are some things that we cover at our grazing school. So if you're on the fence about it, you, you need to get signed up because that the advanced school is getting pretty much close to being full. That's the one with Ian and myself. That's a three day. That's the first week of May. And then the second school is our beginning grade of school. It follows it. It's the second week, and it's a two-day. It's a Friday, Saturday, and the advanced school is a week before that. But you can go to our website, greenpasturesfarm.net, to sign up. And we fill up. That's it. We're, we're not taking any. We just don't have the, the room. So once we fill up, that's it. But uh, if you want to learn how to grow a stockpile like this, that's quite, I'm going to show you some earthworms some earthworm castings i don't think we'll see any earthworms today they're probably froze they stick their little head up but look at this pull this back oh my gosh look at that there we go that's called manure <laughs> Oh my God, look at that. That's all those little pebbles, what a big one, man, look at that one. Now he had a big old turd. That's all earthworm poop, folks. The pH is seven. You don't need anything but that. Why are all the earthworms down here? I mean, look at that, just solid. It's because we got a litter bag. Oh my goodness, look at that. This is solid. All those little round pebbles, that's earthworm poops. We don't need to buy all this stuff to grow grass. We learn to be better managers of our grass. Look at that. 200 acres of it. We didn't put down any fertilizer, nothing. Just cow manure and good management. Cow poop and pee and trampoline. Trampoline. Don't take it all, folks. Don't take it all. Leave some. Keep your ground covered. We grazed all this off. Total grazing. Take it to the dirt. Don't leave anything out here. And you get a rain, you're not going to catch it. It's all going to run off. And if you take it all off, you get in a drought. You're done. You better sell your livestock. Unless you got an irrigation system and you can put down a ton of water, I don't recommend taking all this off of here. We are in the solar energy business. So the longer blades of grass you can leave on your farm, it catches more solar energy. If you take all that off, total graze it to the ground, you don't have a solar collector left. You don't, you can't catch any energy. You're out of business, done, done. Now, if you got a 65,000 acre lake beside your ranch and you can put down water, that's a different deal. 
most people don't have that luxury. So, grace the tips and move them. Leave some trampled on the ground for your soil critters like earthworms, and you're going to grow a ton of grass. That's the way it is. Folks, y'all have a good one. We'll see you next time. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the way out. And if you're in the fence building mood, you're getting ready to build some fence, check out that link below. You get 10% off your first order on PowerFlex products. That's a, that's a good chunk of money you can keep in your pocket. So hope to see you all at the grading school and everyone be safe out there.